Well, there's our research that we're hearing today that shows half of all Western European men are somehow related to the Egyptian pharaoh, King Tutankhamun. Uh, CTV's uh, Morella Fernandez here with more on this. Morella, uh, what's up with this? It's really interesting, actually. Yeah. So this is coming out of Switzerland, and the researchers there have found that not only do half of Western European men have this connection, genetic profile connection, but 70% of men in Britain which is astounding, but yeah. they all have the same uh, genetic profile or same ancestry as King Tut from Egypt way back when. Well, that's hard to believe. I mean, you know, uh, how, King Tutankhamun, I think, lived probably to be about 14. How did he get around with yeah, all that? Yeah, he, he didn't get past his teenage years, and he only ruled for, for 10 years. But I guess it goes back even further than that. And here's what's really shocking about this. Less than 1% of modern day Egyptians have that same connection. So you kind of make, it kind of makes you wonder well, if he's Egyptian, mm -hmm. but the ancestry isn't Egyptian, how did it evolve? Which way did it move? And it looks like it didn't start in Egypt, but it evolved and went to Egypt and may have started in Europe. And that's why all the Europeans have this background. Isn't that interesting? So what's next in this kind of research? Well, here's another thing that is going to prove interesting. They're now looking for King Tut's closest relatives. So they got his DNA back in 2009 from the bones left by his mummy, as, sure. which were found in 1922. That's an M-U-M-M-Y. Yes, yeah. not an M-O-M-M-Y. <laughs> so now they want to find out if they can track down his closest living relative. So people are submitting their DNA and it will be compared and they'll have to find as many DNA, DNA markers as they can to see <laughs> who's related to King Tut, which is kind of cool. I mean, to find out one day that you have some sort of, sort of royal heritage. Sure, isn't it enough to know that you're related somehow to Arnold Schwarzenegger with sure. all the <laughs> DNA testing? <laughs> I guess that could be exciting <laughs> for some people. Well, that, that's going to be an interesting study and I yeah. guess they do talk about a seven degree of separation between mm -hmm. us all and it's uh, good to be connected with you this Tuesday. We'll look forward to seeing you again next hour, Morella. Thanks, Thanks for Brad. this.